to the Clubhouse Podcast, a show all about the world of golf. We will cover everything from the PGA to live to the women's game. I'm Colin Faulkner, sports journalist and part-time YouTube golfer. We'll go through my trials and tribulations in the amateur game. We're hopefully going to speak to some players, both friends, family and also we're going to try and get some professionals on the show for you as well. This is the Clubhouse Podcast. Grab a drink, kick up your feet and come on in. How are we doing everyone? Back again, watching the final round of the Masters. Um, we've got all the leaders underway, thankfully. Uh, apparently it says we've got 281, 302 watchers on uh, X, which, uh, I mean, I don't know what you're, what you're doing with your time, but thank you. Um, Instagram is going to be a wee bit different. Um, there will be a slight... You might not be able to see me. Um, but we're just trying it to see what happens with, with going on Instagram. We should be live on... YouTube as well. Yes, we are. Um, guys... Give us a message in the comments if you've got anything that you want to say, anything that you want me to talk about. Um, I'm just literally going to double check and make sure that this is actually working on Instagram and what the hell it looks like. Because I'm honestly not sure. I am honestly not sure how this is going to look. Um... Hopefully it looks good, um, or hopefully at least you can just hear what I'm saying. Um, let's just double check. Um, definitely says I'm here. Definitely says everything is all good. So yeah, let's. Be a wee bit different. I can hear myself. I can hear myself on on Instagram as well. So we're all good. Um, yeah, as I said, guys, um, leave us a wee uh, comment if there's anything that, that you want to talk about um, with regards to the Masters. As I said, just a wee watch along. We're live on YouTube, Instagram and on X. So thank you to the 462 people that are watching. Um, I'm going to ask you guys, who do you think is going to win the Masters come the end of the night. Scotty is through one and he is level par for the day. Um, we've got Morikawa is at six under. Homa is at six under. Oberg is birdied the second to get to five. And Shoffley is one under for the day. He's at three under par. Um, let's just... So obviously, as soon as I do something, or go to do something, people start messaging me. So, yep, sounds about right. Let's fire in the chat. So that the question's there for everyone. Who do... Who do you think will be wearing the green jacket come the end of the night? Let's see if we get any kind of response. I will go through them. So yeah, let's have a wee. Let's see. Scottish put himself over the, over the green, on the second. He was in the. It was in the fairway bunker. Um, 
Yeah, we check it. Everything's running away from him here. He's wearing the, the the Georgia peach for his uh, for his Sunday attire. He just trickled it on the green. I mean, that's got to get right. It's not going to turn. It's constantly moving away from the hole. But to be fair, to see get that to stop is pretty pretty damn good in itself. Um, yeah, Bryson's not having a good day of it. He's currently at one under. So just so you know. I'm watching the... Get in a hole, Bryson. Come on! Now we're talking. Now we're talking. I've got a tenner on Bryson, so... £10 on Bryson, and I've also got Tommy to finish in the top 12, so... Oh, will be like... Oh, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. That's not too bad. That's not the worst. That is not the worst whatsoever. You know what? Let's say uh, let's go on Facebook as well, just for a just for a laugh. Literally just for a giggle. Have we got any messages yet so far? We've also we've got 513 people watching on X. Thank you very much for joining. As I said, give us a... If you've got anything to write, anything that you want to get off your chest in the... with regards to the... the Masters, let us know. Um, Scott Sheffler's got a... Five, four, five, four and a half footer for par here. Um, we have someone on YouTube. Thank you very much for watching us on YouTube. Uh, do, 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 do. No one yet. As I say, guys, I don't bite. It's fine. This is apparently classed as entertainment. I wouldn't go that far. YouTube are apparently classing this as entertainment. I do apologise if you are let down by that said entertainment, but um, blame YouTube, not myself. What have we got here? We've got Facebook. Again. Oh, get that sound off. Nobody wants to see that. Nobody wants to see that. There we go. So. We'll fire over onto the leaderboard if it'll load up for us. There we go. So we've got Scheffler sitting at seven under. Um, we've got oh, we've got a few people that were joining to watch. I mean, you can't really see me on. The Instagram one. Right, Instagram's gonna off. <laughs> Instagram is going off because that has been rubbish um, because really you can't see me and it's kind of the whole point of a watch along uh, let's I'm 
That's home. I'm putting it left. On the fourth. Morikawa's got the driver out at the third. He's peeling it back. To, to be fair, he's striking the ball fantastically. He's just down. Is it going to miss the bunker? Nope. Right in the front left-hand side of the bunker. We'll go back to my big ugly mush. Boom. One, one solo person on, one solo person on on Facebook. We've got five hundred and twenty-one on X. Get this shared. And I need to anyway. Big Phil Mickelson, not his week at all, not his week at all. Tyrrell, swear, Tyrrell, swear. Ah, we're all here to see Tyrrell, to hear Tyrrell swear. Don't, don't lie, everyone. Don't lie and say that you're not, because we all, we all know that you are. Swear, swear. Get the defending champion here, John Ram. He's had a terrible time of it, in all honesty. Um. He's got a dodgy chip there. And again, John Ram just not had a good, not had a good time of it. Five hundred and twenty-two of you viewing this on on X now. Thank you very much. Tyrrell sinks his putt. We're going to do. We'll do some golf golf style commentary. From out on the course, just because we can. Even though I'm not going to be out on the course, but oh, I sort myself here. The wires are from my microphone are uh, not arranged, shall we say? Um, we've got three people, three poor suckers watching on Facebook. <laughs> Homer here with his bunker shot. That's got to bite, that's got to bite for Max. Yeah, good shot. Gets it to stop just about at the hole. So, well, do you think, you know, what Scotty and what Bryson were at on day one? There you go, Mickelson ends with a par, relatively consistent, 73, so 1 over, 2 over, 3 over, 3 over, so. No, sorry, 1 under, 3 over. Oh, we know that's got to bite Morikawa. 
That's not terrible. He's got a relatively long birdie putt, but it's not not terrible whatsoever. Oberg, come on. <laughs> Sorry, Graham, I do apologise that I called you a poor sucker. But yeah, if you're watching if you're watching this live, you're a poor sucker, I do apologise. What's it, Scott Scheffler have a putt for Buddy? I was too busy turning around and reading Graham's message there. Uh, well, thanks for that. Come on, Tommy. You're Tommy Fleetwood now. He's up to three under, two under in the front nine. Let's go. Let's go, Tommy. That's Oberg in for part. Young man. Again. It's his first time at Augusta National. But he's doing well. I'm just double checking everything on. I mean, 527 people viewing this and, and X. Come on, guys, give me some predictions. What's going to happen? Talk to me. Also, I've apparently got captions on my Facebook video. Pfft, who knew? We've got a grand total of 531 people watching. This is fantastic. I feel popular. Thanks, guys. Morikawa, that's a bit bold, pal. That's a bit bold. Ah, uh, Homer gets up and down for his par as well, so... Homer and Oberg, one under par for the day, move on to the fourth. Sorry, the fifth. The par four, fifth. Why does it say that? That nonsense. Right. Ben Ann. Level par. Probably too far back to do anything. Oh. Although we're going to one under par soon. That's. You could blow on that and that would go in. Right now, Scotty, for a birdie. To make everybody else in the field sad, don't do it, Scotty. Don't do it. Prick. Make everybody else in the field sad, including me. Ah. <sighs> Oh, watching the Sky Sports coverage here and it looked as if Cam Smith was frozen in time. It looked as if he was frozen in time there. Oh, getting the notifications in now. Bryson has made birdie on the par 4 fifth. Come on, Bryson. Come on. Couple of birdies to finish the back nine. Just... That's what we want. 
one after the other. Ricky Hatton, we don't... Ricky Hatton? <laughs> oh my god, Tyrrell Hatton's just birdied as well. He's got to one under. Four under today, Tyrrell Hatton, that's a good round of golf. It's a good round of golf from... The man that clocks more swear words than he does birdies in a round. As do I. The ears ram from off the back. Try to put it, that's bobbled up, that's not good. It's not getting anywhere near it. That was a wild choice. Using the old Texas wedge. Who have we got here? Scotty. Scotty and Colin at the fourth. And pin's, pin? The pin? The pin is really close. The pin's really close to the left hand side, so that bunker on the left is going to come into play. I mean, if you're in the bunker on the front right, then you're you're up shit creek without a paddle here because that's a long way in. A long way in. Oh, we've got another someone else on in with us on YouTube. Hello. Still kicking in at around about five hundred thirty total. So. Again, I appreciate you watching. Oh, that's that's tail and right. Oh, and it's miles long. Oof. I think Sheffield just felt guilty and he's wanting to give that. But oh, there he is. It's Mikey. It's Mikey Gilchrist watching us on YouTube. Buongiorno. Oh, there he is. Well done, Bryson. Just have a wee Bryson gif that just pops up. I'm gif a mad scientist. Bonjourno. <laughs> Guys. Just while we've got you all here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're on X or Twitter. The artist formerly known as Twitter. Give us a follow, um, like, like the video, like the post, you know the script. If you do the usual. Trying here watching John Ram on the par 5 fourth. He's plus seven. No, it's Tickling it down. I mean, how he managed to get that stop before the hole, I'll never know. But he did. Who knew? Who knew you could get that stop before the hole? Who are we watching now? We've got Xander Shoffley dressed all in black in that Georgia heat. I think he's got some form of death wish, I believe, because that's ridiculous. Like, absolutely ridiculous. Who would dress? Who would dress in that? <laughs> in all black in the Georgia heat. But he is, so. Oh, there we go. Some non golfing content coming up on Sky Sports, so we'll come back to here, right? We'll, uh, we'll ask the question again, guys. Who do we think is going to win the green jacket? Um, we've obviously. We'll take a wee trip back to our leaderboard. As it re jigs itself, so we have Scheffler at the top at eight under. Um, he's struggle. He's going to struggle for for a par, I reckon, on the par three fourth. Um, we got Holman Morikawa at six under, one two shots back at the moment. Oberg is three shots back, and Tommy and Deschambeau are five back. Now, I mean, as as a group, I'm sure want Tommy and Bryson to win. <laughs> well, I myself want Tommy and Bryson to win. Or Tommy or Bryson to win, sorry. Um, Tommy, specifically, would love to see Tommy get it done. But, currently watching Max Homer as approach to the fifth. 
that was that's tailing a wee bit to the left. Is it going to hold the green? Oh yeah, that was fine. It's he was he was actually worried about the front, the false front there. So Rory at the twelve, at three over. What the fuck? Did he just bird the, Did he just bogey the eleventh? What a moron. Right, Ludwig, come on. If Bryson or Tommy don't win it, I want it to be you, young man. Just got to fade back in. That looks beautiful. Come on. Come on. Yeah. He'll have a long putt for Buddy. But he has a putt for Buddy nonetheless. Well, click back into the full, the full screen. To get your, like to get your money's worth, guys. Um, here he is, Scheffler from over the green at the fourth. Tries to chip it into the bank. Oh, and he barely got it there. That's going to be a long putt for his part. Sank a few long putts today, though. Sank a few long ones. But this is going to be... This is going to be tricky, in all honesty. So it looks like Morikawa will have a shot. A chance to get to seven under here. It's a long putt for Colin, but he'll have a chance to get to seven under. Scotty's got this his putt to make sure that he doesn't drop to seven under and give back his birdie. Oh, we've got some more folk join. We're up to five hundred and forty-one people. Thank you for joining us, guys. We appreciate it, or I appreciate it. Cause I don't know why I'm saying we because it's just. It's just me. Um, yes, I do appreciate it. A bit more of here. Right, I'm going to do some golf commentary. A bit more of he sits over his putt. He's looking, got to be around about 25, 30 feet here. Maybe longer. He's got the claw grip and he sends it on its way. It's moving down towards the hole. It's, no, it's going to miss. Around about, around about 7 inches to the left. But he should clean up nicely there for a par. He's, he just stands over it. It's a blade through it. Yep, good par from Colin. My namesake, but I don't want him to win. I do apologise, but we've got bets and we've got bets in play here. Dejambo and Fleetwood both tying at five under. Uh, sorry, in fifth place at three under. Now we're watching Ludwig, the young Swede. He only turned pro. He wasn't even a pro at this point last year. Which is wild. He was still in, he was still in college at this point last year. Check is just get it to the hole. I've never had a, I've never had a hole come and meet a birdie putt. Get there. Go on. <sighs> Unlucky Ludwig. He'll have a tap in for a par there to keep himself at five under. But he'll let Max at his putt first. Here comes here comes Scotty back on the fourth green. He's got this one for par. This is a big putt. That's a big putt for Scotty. And he sends it on his way. It's moving from left to right. Is it moving too much? Yep, Scotty is going to move back. He gives his birdie back. That's one back to the course. And Scotty moves back to seven under par. 
He's not going to be happy with that. He's not going to be happy. If you want a, there's a stat for you that just flew up there. Scotty Scheffler and the first three holes is five under par total. And the rest of the course he's two under. For the rest of the course. It's wild. Max Homer missed his birdie putt, le left it out to the right, so not great from Max. Again, misses the chance to go level with Scheffler. And Oberg will be next just to tidy up. There's Ricky Hatton. <laughs> Done it again. Tittle. Come on, Tyrrell, swear, swear, swear. Give us a good reaction, Tyrrell. I mean, that was an absolute monster. <laughs> Looks like it was a three wood that he hit. Could have been slightly less, but looked like it was a three wood. Going through some going through some highlights of the day's play. Jake Knapp at, at the third. And a wee chip in. Look at the master. The master VJ Singh. On the twelfth. Oh my god, that's a long putt. Surely that does not go in. Surely not. <laughs> I mean that had to hit the flag. If that didn't hit the flag, that was that was in the water. If that didn't hit the flag. <laughs> Tom Kim. What's Tom Kim sitting at at the moment? I think he no, he would he has round the finish now. Danny Willett as well came back early. Had a good had a good thing going for a while. Let's see where's Tom Kim. He finished up today six under. What a round from Tom. I mean, John Ram pitched in for a birdie, got himself to three over, and now he's at seven. He's had a nightmare. He has had a nightmare. What's Ricky Fowler doing? Ricky Fowler's one under at plus four. I need Ricky to get to... One under. I need Ricky to get some five birdies in the last three holes. Four holes. Or he could eagle 15. Eagle 15, holding one at 16, then we'd be laughing. Pfft, think about the scenes, the absolute scenes that would happen at that. The absolute scenes. The scenes that would go on there. That's how we're sitting at the moment. I mean, that was my start, guys, for the start. We've got Tiger on there. We can take Tiger off. We can take Ram off. We can take Fitzy off. He's a dafty. We can take Rory off. We can take Zalatoris off. Hold on, actually. Did that say that Zalatoris was up at even par? Look at Zalatoris. Let's just keep a wee eye on him for a laugh because he's got a three under par round going. Deschambault's at 3 under, he's level for today, Tommy Fleetwood's 2 under for today, now we get Oberg at minus 1 and the leader Scotty Scheffler who is currently sitting at 7 under par level for his day, so let's, let's see how we keep going here. Now we're, at, we're still with the leaders here, still with the leaders at 5th hole. I mean, imagine Ricky Fowler. Eagle hole in one, birdie, birdie. Gets, gets to two under and wins calling some extra cash. <laughs> something we would all love to see, but something that is probably a not a going to happen. Uh, 
There he goes, Homer sends it on its way. Peeling towards the right hand side, it's right at it. It's over the back, it's around about 10, 10 11 feet for birdie for Max Homer. At the sixth, sorry, we were not with the leaders. We were with Max and Oberg at the par three sixth. It's a lovely shot from Max Homer, in all honesty. That was absolutely beautiful. Now we have Oberg, loves a wee, loves a wee fade. So he does. See what he gets up to here. Let's see what he gets up to. Come on, Ludwig. Get right. Ah. Oh. He's going to have a 70 foot putt for birdie. That is not going to be fun. Not going to be fun at all. I mean, I mean. That's wild. That's actually ran away 50, 50 feet. Go on, Tommy. Into the par 5 eighth. Keep going. Keep going, keep going, run for Tommy, come on, come on, come on. Come on, Tommy. Come on. That's what we want to see. I've got Morikawa. We're back with the leaders now. Don't worry. Compose myself. Back with the leaders. Guys, again, get in the chat if you've got any questions. Who do you think's going to win? Who do you think's playing well? Oh, Colin, what a shot. Ah, oh, it's just released out. That was... That was almost... That, that was almost beautiful. Not quite. Didn't finish up where they wanted it, but that was almost beautiful. Here comes Hatton for his eagle. He'll have a kick in birdie. He will have a kick in birdie. Let it be known that I do not have a brand deal with Coca-Cola. Whoever Coca-Cola, if you want to give me a brand deal, you know where I am. If you want to give me a brand deal, just let me know in the chat. There's obvious, obviously you're going to be watching. Scotty Scheffler there with an absolute dart. An absolute dart into the green. He's going to want to sink that to get back. Get himself back to the 8 under. He's not safe where he is at the moment. We've got Tommy and Bryson. At 3 under. They're the ones within striking distance. Really... Tyrrell's only got four holes, five. We got Cammy. You've backed Smith. Haven't seen him since Thursday. <laughs> I mean, the sky coverage has been great. I, I, I don't agree with you there. What? The reason you haven't seen Smith since Thursday is because he's not done anything of note. Chipped in for bird, for ego at the se at the second of the day. Problem is he's been really inconsistent. Obviously, you're always going to see Tiger. You're always going to see Rory. You're always going to, you're always going to show your Ram. But really, the kind of the focus is always going to be the top of the, the top of the table, the top. And oh, go on, Ludwig. Oh, that's got to slow down. That has to hit the hole. That has to hit the hole. Jesus. Jesus, that was a, oh my god, who's that, there you go, Cammy, you're watching Cam Smith just now, he's on his knees in the trees, <laughs> so, 
I hope you enjoyed your glimpse of Mr. Smith. I mean... <laughs> I mean, he's hardly had hat and showed some hat and shots because he's had some good shots. Fleetwood's been playing well. He's just not been sinking putts. <laughs> what we need, what we need, Oberg to be. To sink this one, keep himself at five under, and not lose any momentum. And Butch Armin just literally said exactly what I've said. They, hold on, this microphone linked up to the Sky Studios. <laughs> Let's go, Ludwig. What a putt. What a putt, young man. Fucking ice in that man's veins. Come on, Tommy. Come on, Tommy. Come on. Oh! Just kind of cruising by the hole, and it looked in. It was like, oh, fuck, no, don't want to go in there. Here's Morikawa for the co cool lead before Scotty hits his putt. Ball's on its way. It's going to move from left to right before it gets to the hole. Has he hit it? Has he hit it? Oh, he didn't. He just needed to hit it. He just needed to hit it. Thing is, if Morikawa wins this, he'll be the, the fourth player to win. Oh, Max Homer misses his. He literally... Oberg just gave him the line and Max Homer just missed it. Um, if Morikawa wins, he'll be the... the fourth player to win the PGA, the Open and the Masters before his 30th. Currently, the three are Jack Nicholas, Gary Player and Tiger Woods. Let, not bad company to, <laughs> to keep. And you think about it, Morikawa's still under 30. Which is wild. And look, what is what is Tyrrell Hatton doing? Look, who allowed him to play this well? And here's Scotty. Notoriously bad putter up until a month and a half ago. Sends it off down the left hand side. That's not going to turn. He set it past. He'll need to roll that in for a part. Well, there's only four shots separating the top four, the top five, top five in ties. Which, which is more Scheffler at seven, Morikawa at six, Homer at six, Oberg at five, and then Deschambault and Fleetwood at three. Fleetwood's just teeing off on the going to be just teeing off on the ninth. Deschambeau still has the par 5 eighth to come up in a hole or two's time, in a hole's time, sorry. And Scotty sinks that for his par and moves on, but he'll be disappointed. Scotty's wife could go into labour at any point. It was actually, he said that if she'd went into labour before he teed off, then he would have withdrew from the Masters, which is, like, I mean, Class from him to be fair. Right here we go, Rory. Par five thirteenth. Is this one called Azalea? Oh no. He's chunked it, I think. Nah, he just over he just drew it. Ball above your feet, it's a hard uh, it's a hard shot to hit, in all honesty. Speaking from experience of me playing at Augusta. Fucking wish. Yeah, fucking wish I'd played at Augusta. If I'd played at Augusta, you wouldn't hear the fucking end of it. Oh, and then Ryan Fox is in the water. 
Ryan Fox, who was once five under par, is currently four over par and has put his ball in the water at the 16th. Mikey Gilchrist, if you are still among the unfortunate souls that are watching right now, eh, the fox is no longer in the hen house. The fox is getting drowned. He's been taken out. Oh, Hatton, how have you missed that birdie putt? How have you missed that putt? That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Yeah, I can't believe he's missed that. I cannot believe it. Here we go. Leaders at the par 3 6th. DeChambeau has parred the 7th, so he's now heading over on to the 8th. I did not fart there, by the way, guys. That was my seat. I repeat, that was the seat. <laughs> Cammy, angriest man in the history of golf. I mean, Rambo's pretty angry as well. Let's be let's be honest. Rambo's a Rambo's a pretty angry guy. And you've not seen <laughs> you've also not seen me on the course when I am playing shockingly bad. Colin, that needs to get right. Needs to get right. Oh, what a shot, Morikawa! One of the best iron players in the league. In the league, one of the best iron players on tour is Colin Morikawa. Absolutely fantastic. Somebody needs to drug test him. He's not played well all season so far. At all, he's not played well at all this year. <laughs> he needs the piss test pronto how long have we been on for? 47 minutes no oh Scott he's going to have oh no it's, it's coming it's turning now oh how that stayed up there I will never know how that stayed up there, I will never know. But Scotty's on the green, he has a putt for a birdie. I mean, one gust of wind the wrong way, and that ball is <whistles> off the green. Here's Homer on seven. Oh, that's a pull. That is a straight pull. I mean, how he's pulled that and ended up on grass, I don't have a, I don't have a clue. But he has. <laughs> Here's Fino. Big handsome. He's Jordan's on. Go on, Tony. Oh, it doesn't look as if he likes it. Oh, what a shot. Why, do, why were you looking like that, Tony? Maybe because he's plus 13. Maybe because he's 13 over par. But still, that's ridiculous, that golf shot from the bunker. From a fairway bunker. That's why these guys are pros and I'm a nine handicapper. Fucking disgusting behaviour, that's what that is. Still steady at 530 plus on... Hex, thank you very much guys, it means a lot actually. Whether you're getting, I know it's my, more my journalism work, kind of what I would use it for, but I appreciate it and thank you. Here comes Oberg. At the seventh, come on, Oberg. Put this on right up the middle. Oh, what a. 
This man was made in a lab. This man was made in a lab. Here's Rambo at the 18th. I left it out to the right. I'll trickle back down a wee bit. Just not been great from Ram, but to be fair, not very many people come back and retain the, the green jacket. Here's Rory for Eagle at the 13th. I mean, this is going to be like aim 20 feet left of the hole, and then that's going to have to hook. He hit that straight through the break. <laughs> and it didn't move right. Oh, I mean, Rory was laughing. If that was me, my, my putter would have been snapped over my knee. That was, ter that was terrible. There's Scheffler for birdie at the sixth, the par three. No. That was right in the heart. If he had hit it. If he had hit it, that was right in the heart. Oh. Unlucky Scotty. Still level par for his day. Nobody's chased. Nobody's really testing him, in all honesty. Let's pop the wee leaderboard down there. Boop. So we can get... If you, get, you guys will be able to see it. How's Bryson doing? The American MX. Well... Bryson is currently at three under, and he's on the eighth, the par five eighth. So I've got Bryson on to win this. When Scotty took a two shot lead on him in the second round, I put him on to win. So, oh, so uh, Morikawa just missed his buddy putt the par three. Um, but yeah, Bryson's at three under, so one under on his day. He's a couple of buddies, couple of a uh, couple of buddies in a bogey. Really, he's not done. Oh no! In fact, sorry, not one under on his day level par for his day because he chipped in at the eighteen last night. Smith for par. I mean, that's a great par considering he was hitting his second shot from his fucking knees. Um, but yeah, American MX. Um, he's doing all right. Uh, he's just not made any move really. Um, which is not great for me. I mean, Rory's just placed that birdie putt past as well. He is having a nightmare. A nightmare. Ludwig, get that ball to the right. Get to the right. Get to the right. Keep going. To the hole. 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 Oh... Beautiful shot from Ludwig there. Here comes Ram for a birdie at the 18th to finish off. Nah, he can't do it. Unlucky John Rambo. But he will put a green jacket on somebody this evening. Swing hasn't looked as if it was there this week. It's just been really, it's been really unlike him. In all honesty, thanks for the like. You think Rory will ever get a green jacket, Cammy? That is the age-old question. That's been a question for the last ten years. Um, I don't think the so I think he overthinks it. He's in his own head. In all honesty. Um, he's probably, me and my dad were having this conversation earlier, he's probably the most natural mover of a ball from right to left. But instead of playing that, he's trying to hit these cuts and fades and I really don't know why he moves the ball so naturally right to left. Augusta is set up to suit someone moving the ball right to left. I think he just gets in his own head that... 
Rory normally absolutely destroys par threes. He, he lives off of absolutely destroying them. And if he birdied, he doesn't need to eagle par threes. If he birdied every par three, right, but played the rest of the course level par over the course of a, a Masters weekend, nine times out of ten he would win the Masters because that's 12 under par over the weekend. So, aye, it's a... Uh, do I think he'll win one? I don't know. Do I hope he wins one? Yes, because I actually like Rory. But, um, aye. 100%. 100% a mental block. Like, I don't... <sighs> Rory's got the problem is he needs to go out there and not care. And he does, obviously, far, far too much. Like, it meets... It also means everything to him. I'm going to get Homer here for a part. He's got to trickle that. Is that going to turn too much? Oh, it has. Homer's moving back to five under. And Oberg has got the opportunity to go to six. Scotty's back on the tee here. Come on, Scotty. Pull this into the trees. <gasps> Do I have magical powers? Hold the phone. Hold the phone. Bryson and Tommy to finish the top two. <laughs> and Scotty did exactly what I wanted him to there. Good man. Go on. Go on, Ludwig. Fucking yes, wee man. I don't want you to win if my guys can win. He's won back though. What a I was looking at him as well. When I put the tenor on Bryson I was looking at Oberg. Who was that? Who is that? What a putt that is. I didn't see who hit that shot. Oh, it was my man Thomas. My man Thomas Fletwood. Okay, okay. Two under through nine for Tommy. Not not disastrous by any stretch of the imagination. Not disastrous at all. That was the Rolex hour on Sky Sports. Thanks, Cammy. I didn't see who I didn't see who did it. I was just sitting watching a watching a ball. I couldn't see it until it stopped. It had to be peaches on it. Then I also knew it was Tommy. This has been the Rolex hour, guys. Live stream with Colin in the Rolex hour. Tell you who are disappointments this week though. And I know they haven't been playing great, but Justin Thomas and Jordan Spieth. I actually thought that Jordan, after last weekend, would have played a lot. Would have played a lot better. And Wyndham, Wyndham Clark as well. He's been playing some lovely golf um, over the course of the start of this season, and God knows what. Again, he moves the ball left to right, so that could have been a big thing. With Wyndham. But, eh. Uh, aye. It's a shame, because he does say they started the season really well. Hideki as well. Hideki Matsuyama has started, started the season really well. And Matsuyama is currently plus seven. It's wild. I see, I don't know what. JT actually won a point for the US, I'm sure. Or half a point this year. Oh, go on, Tommy. What a drive. Get down there. I 
Um, I'm sure JT won half a point, right? But I I agree. I would have actually took, and I know why. Obviously, he took him. He took him because of the the partnership with Justin uh, with Jordan Spieth, and that is obviously as a class partnership. That it's a ready made pairing, but. I, I personally, I would have either took Bryson or I would have took Keegan Bradley, in all honesty. Because um, Keegan was playing really, really well at the end of the season last last season. So uh, I, I would have took either one of those two. But DJ and stuff like that didn't do enough last year to warrant. Um, I mean, Taylor Gooch was playing well over in Live last year. But I would 100% have took Bryson over Taylor Gooch. Any day of the week, I would have took Bryson over Taylor Gooch. You guys, we've got obviously guys on X and we've got guys on YouTube watching us. Who's been your biggest disappointment? That's going to be a good question. Thank you, Steve. Thank you, Stevie. You didn't ask the question directly, but prompted my wee thought there. Oh, what a shot, Colin. Ah, oh, it's going to come back. Okay, so uh, what do I think about the 3D clubs? I mean, I've not really gave it much thought. In all honesty, um, I don't see I don't see the issue with it. But why does it why does it matter how they're how they're made? Do you know what I mean? That like, obviously, I mean Bryson is known as like the mad scientist. He's had that name. Because like forever, or that moniker forever. Um, obviously being the one that uses all the same length clubs, and and then that crank driver, which is technically a long a long drive driver, and or the same brand. Like then he bulk then he bulked up, got so so big, and just was like, I'm going to battle the ball longer than everybody. And then if I'm in, I'm around the green, then I'm I'm laughing. And he won a US Open doing that. But, uh, oh my God, what a drive from Ludwig. Don't tail too much. Stay in the fairway. Beautiful. Beautiful drive from Ludwig. Um, yeah, I don't mind it. I don't mind the, the 3D printed clubs. Uh, at the end of the day, they've been cleared to be used. So, so yeah. I mean, I, I don't really think it matters how they're made. There's, if they meet the regulations or the standards then and f- fair thoughts to them like let's say hey I'm alright with it I would like to hit one just to see how differently they feel well that might come back oh it's not Scott Sheffler's now got a putt to remain at 7 under from about 7 feet Um. Aye, what's your what's your thoughts on the three D printed clubs, Cammy? What are you? I mean, what are you using the now? What do you? I mean, I mean it's obviously not three D printed clubs, but what you're playing with the now? Um, Revolutionise the game or just a fad? I don't know if it'll do either. Or Tyrrell Hatton. That is unlucky. Dodgy, dodgy lie. Oh, go on. Come on, Tyrrell. Come on, Tyrrell. Swear, swear. Snap a golf club. Throw something. Fucking disappointment. Um, yeah, uh, revolutionise the game or just a fad. <sighs> I think it's just Bryson being Bryson. In all honesty. <laughs> like... 
there might end up being a market for it, but I don't think. Yes, he had a good, he had a good first day, like he had a class first day. Um, but his ball, his ball striking has faded as. As the kind of the route, the the days have went on, so I don't know if that's a case of Bryson. Um. No, oh, Call- Callaway Mavericks. I like Call. Ah, I mean, I say I like Callaways. Uh, I had the XR Pros and actually didn't mind them. Um, but bent my th- bent my pitching wedge around a tree, hitting a shot. True story. Um, yeah, I think it's just Bryson being Bryson. In all honesty, um, there might end up being a market for it for people to like, people to buy them, like consumers. But I don't think the golfers on tour will start using them because uh, when you when you look at it like, as I said about his, his ball striking has got worse as the rounds have went on I don't know if that's a case of Bryson has got worse as the rounds have went on or whether the clubs aren't lasting for four rounds and for four rounds because of the obviously pardon me the fact that they're, th- they're 3D printed so so yeah, I, I don't know. He might come out and say uh, the 3D printed clubs didn't work. It's just a case of... Because this is the first... I'm sure this is the... I, I don't think he's played on live with them. I might be wrong with that. I thought they were brand new in the bag this week. No, he's just Tommy. Tommy's in the green side bunker at 10... Go on. Tap in par for Tommy. Thanks for liking the video, Robbie. I appreciate it. Appreciate you liking me talking nonsense. I think the 54 hole format is affecting the live boys. I don't know. I don't really think so, in all honesty, because they were shite for the first day, apart from Bryson. When you think about it, is this on twelve shank for a buddy? That is a long buddy putt. Hit the pin. Oh, what a putt! Um, I, uh, I, I don't know if it's affecting the live boys because Hatton seems to be playing. I mean, I know Hatton's all just left or just went away this season, um, so it's not really a live boy. I think DJ's just. Getting older and don't know, maybe he's in holiday. Look, Brooks last year was fine. Brooks was in contention for the Masters and won a major last year. So, um, yeah, Morikawa. Wow, he's gonna have a tap in part. Colin stays at six under. Um, I he's got. I, I really don't know. I, I don't know if it affects you. In all honesty, because. Maybe the more relaxed kind of like aspect of it. I don't like the live product as such. We're probably going to... Uh, somebody was going to ask a question if... At some point. Um, I'm not massively into li- live golf. Thank you for liking the video as well, Stephen. I did not notice that you liked the video. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't... Uh, I don't particularly like the live product. Like, as in what they put out on TV... I do like the team aspect of it. Um, oh, Blair. I can't see what that is, Blair. I do apologise. A hedgehog? Thank you. Um, <laughs> uh, but, yeah, um, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not a massive fan of the the product that gets put out on TV. I think it's a bit poor. Um, but, I like the kind of the, the team aspect of it, so I would like to see that kind of translate over to the PGA Tour with the whole merger thing. Now, whether that happens or not, it's a different story. But a Scheffler for his par, and Scheffler goes back to six under. It's getting exciting. Here we fucking go. Tommy Bryson, let's fucking go. Um. Hi, what about you guys? Obviously, you guys are the ones listening to me talk nonsense. Um, what are your either the guys in the YouTube chat or 
the guys on Facebook or the guys on X. Um, what's your kind of what's your thoughts on things? Bryson's missed his birthday pot on a par five. Thanks very much, Bryson. It fucking made me cry. Two poor bogeys at the start of his round. What a nonce. Right, Zalatoris, three under par for the day. He's on his 16th. Come on, Willie. Hole in one. Hole in one for Willie Z. Go. Go. Oh. <laughs> He knows it. He knows that was close. Like smile. Glad to see him back playing. Glad to see Willie Billy back playing now. Um, young man, de young man deserves it. Turn down, turn down the live money. PJ loyal. Blair, thank you for liking the page. Oh, almost talking to the ball. How did that bounce soft? Oh, it was just in the. It was just in the. Just, just in the. Uh, it helps when I'm able to speak. Landed just in. Landed just in the apron. Come on, Ludwig. As I said, if Bryson or if Bryson or Tommy can't win, I would love Ludwig to win. Debut. Young guy, young British or young European guy. I left it out to the right. I don't think that'd be too bad. They seem to think that's gonna be that's gonna be tricky. See as long as he gets a wee bit of run on it, that's gonna be decent. It's going to be decent. But I said it at the start, I say it, I'll say it again. Single digits I think wins this. Single digits I think wins this. Unless somebody goes on a mad run. We'll stick around until the leaders have got... Stick around until the leaders have got through the... Through the, through the first nine. And then I'll jump off. Let you all watch the watch the back the back nine from the leaders in peace. I'm actually on longer than what I thought I was going to. I was I was only going to come on for about an hour. We've been on for just just over an hour, so why not keep fucking going, eh? Although I'm going to have a wee break because I've been sitting here for about an hour and 15 minutes and before that. I'm going to jump quickly for a break and then I'll be back to watch the close the closing of the leaders. To watch the closing of the leaders in the back, on the front nine. You guys, I will catch you in about five minutes. Help so far. So we are on the way to pick up Jamie and then my little brother John to go to the Scottish Open down in North Berwick or across in North Berwick should be good got some money on John Ram John Ram's sitting a shot behind the leaders going into the final day it should be a good one so it was a lovely day in North Berwick the sun was splitting the skies, as you can see from the images here. That I was actually starting to think that I was overdressed for the occasion. 
to start the day off at around about half past nine, ten o'clock, we managed to sit just behind um, the fourth green here. Uh, we can see Weisberger's approach into the fourth green. Uh, it was a good wee spot to sit at for, for a while. And here we can see Canton is drive off of the fifth. Magnificent drive there. It was a very hard day for the guys to start off with the with the wind. It was very breezy on, on the Sunday and, and there wasn't a lot of, of low scoring early on in the day. Here we can see Colin Morikawa's approach into the 11th hole. Kind of struggled throughout the day um, with the putter, but you can see from this and where he ends up the excellent iron play that Colin possesses. As you can see, he puts that into within 15 feet, and unfortunately, would walk off with a par on that hole. As we followed him up to the 12th, he would again walk off of the 12th with a par and just unable to sink a birdie putt. However, he did manage to pick up his first birdie of the day on the 14th hole. We also managed to sit right behind the 5th fifth, the fifth green, um, a great spot um, and we were able to watch quite a few of the guys come through and head towards the 6th. As we can see, Will Zalatoris making an effort for birdie here, unfortunately doesn't make the birdie putt walks off with a par and on to the 6th, ending up with a round of 10 under. Here we see an Ian Poulter birdie effort as well. Ian had a fantastic round on Sunday, uh, ending up at 17 under, had to stick around in the clubhouse with the possibility of a playoff and missed the first half of England's Euro final defeat against Italy. Here we see Aaron Rye, the at the time, reigning Scottish Open champion, teeing off on the 9th. And then later on in the day, towards the end of the round, it did turn sour. Um, play was actually suspended now if you can believe that after seeing the images from earlier on with the sun splitting the skies the rain was really lashing down it got to the point where the guys had to come off the course and we're sitting with Minwoo Lee leading at 17 under um, a lot of fans made their way back to the cars and made, the, made their way home because it did not look as if the rain was stopping. Cut to an hour down, further down the road and play resumed. It went to a three-way playoff between Matt Fitzpatrick, Detry and Minwoo Lee and Minwoo Lee came out the victor with Fitzpatrick and Detry parring the playoff hole whereas Minwoo Lee sinks this putt for birdie. You can see the emotion from the young man. It was a, a fantastic win for the Australian. A massive congratulations to the young man. Certainly deserved it. And there will be much more to come from the 22-year-old. How are we doing guys? I am back. Um, we just came back in time there to see Oberg just miss the chip there. Pff, Mikey, who's winning? I don't know. We currently have a three-way tie. Mikey, that's a great point. Who is winning? I'm glad you asked because now we can take a look at the leaderboard. Thank you. Lovely setup there. It's almost, it's almost as if you knew what to do. So currently we have a three-way tie at the top. Sorry, make that a four-way tie at the top. It's a four-way. It's a fatal four-way at the moment. 
Max Homer has just birdied the eighth. Oberg is a putt for par uh, to stay at six under. So we have Scheffler, Morikawa, Homer, and Oberg at six under so far. DeChambeau and Fleetwood, three shots back at three under. Three shots back. Rage in a cage. Hell in a cell. Penis in Uranus. Come on, Oberg. Good pal. Golf clap, golf clap. It's a good par from the young man. It's a good, it's actually a great par from the young man. We currently have 10 people watching on YouTube. Guys, if you haven't seen the chat from earlier, I did ask the question. <laughs> Mikey, Mikey to it. Get up, you. Um, I, I, did, uh, I did ask the question earlier. Who do you think is going to win? Um... I have money on DeChambeau and Fleetwood. I hope it's Tommy Fleetwood. I also hope it's DeChambeau. If neither of the two of them win it, then I would love Ludwig to win it. Or Colin Morikawa. Just to touch on what I was saying earlier, Morikawa, if you haven't seen... Oh my God, what a... Oh, that's long. Unlucky Scotty. He might walk off with a birdie here. Good position. Um, Morikawa, uh, if he wins uh, the Masters today, he will have. He will be the fourth player to win the PGA, the U. And no, the PGA, the Open, and the Masters before the age of thirty. He'll be. He'll only be the fourth player to do that. The other three who have done that are Jack Nicklaus, Gary Player, and Tiger Woods. So decent fucking company to be in with um, Tommy Tommy at 11 right we need Tommy to make a long birdie putt let's get this fucking show on the road 13 people on the on the lap currently we've had 114 116 views in this uh, in this live stream tonight now I get to you guys that might not be a lot, but for you for you guys to be that's just on YouTube. 116 views. We've had uh, we've currently got a total of three people on Facebook watching. I think the highest that got to was five. And then uh, we've got currently five hundred and thirty nine on X watching. So again, guys Thank you very much for spending your Sunday night listening to me talk shite about golf. Um, <laughs> I really appreciate it. Um, but yeah, just to kind of bring it back to what I was what I was saying earlier, um, it was who's been your biggest disappointment from this year's Masters, and who's been, or oh, and who do you think is going to win? So if you're in the chat and you're watching, whatever platform you're on pop an answer in and we'll discuss it already been speaking to Cami about Bryson's clubs um, had a good wee chat about that um, and yeah just let me know just t talk talk to me Goose Morikawa's got his third shot here he's actually laid it quite a ways back um, Rory has been he's been ad a disappointment and definitely wouldn't say he's been the biggest one if we kind of look at form and everybody's form coming into the tournament um, my Collins coming in with a full on shot a full shot here how's the yardage it's got to stop what a shot what a shot from Colin Morikawa he's left that to about 6 feet so he'll have that for a birdie, he's looking composed. Him, him and Oberg. Oberg looks as if he was made in a fucking lab. Ice in the veins. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's turning. That's turning for Max. That he's not going to like. No, oh, no, that's fine. It's fine. Crisis averted, guys. Don't worry. 
Max is in the middle of the fairway. I still think te uh, nine under wins this. Come on, Bryson, you need to sink this. Good par putt. Good par putt from Bryson there. There's going to be a lot of clips of me celebrating pars. <laughs> he's out level par. He's not dropped any shots. And he's got closer to the lead. Now, he needs to take advantage of the par fives in the back nine. Ludwig, that has to go. What a drive, I'm telling you, this man was made in a lab. He was made in a lab. Fantastic stuff. I mean, Scotty's going to do really well to keep this on the green from here. We just saw Oberg. Scotty's a bit closer. He's bumping it. It's not going to stop. So that'll be a long birdie putt. He's got the opportunity. He's got the opportunity for a birdie putt though. It's just as the, as Butch just said on commentary there, it's up the hill for him, so it's not too bad whatsoever. IRA. Bit of a weird comment, Dylan Murphy, but okay. <laughs> IRA Tau. Oh, Chucky Alara, I just realised I just realised what Tal was there. I was waiting for something else. I thought I was getting spoke to in code. Somebody come and pick up their granddad. He's drunk and he's on YouTube. We're talking about golf. <laughs> as we know. As Dylan has quite kindly pointed out here in the chat. The IRA were big golf fans apparently. Love the wee game of golf in the Love the wee game of golf in the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Daphne. Is it maybe because I'm wearing blue and red? Are you getting confused here? Like, I know the colours are green and green and yellow, but the master's colours are green and yellow as well, pal. But thanks, thank you for your view. Love the stat. And a wee bit of interaction as well. But as I was distracted by the getting Tales of the IRA's golfing <laughs> golfing habits. Scotty Scheffler has sunk the birdie on the 8th and is back on top at 7 under where he started the day. We've got Colin Morikawa here for his birdie to join him. Colin Morikawa for his birdie. Here we go. Really <laughs> I really need these two to start making more bo more bogeys. <laughs> Just draw them all. I need the four of them to start making bogeys and draw them all back to Tommy and Bryson. Yep, Colin's in at seven under as well. Colin is in at seven under. So we've got a lead. We've, we've still got a tie at the top. But it's Scotty Scheffler. I mean, I don't understand what the what the need is, Dylan. Come on now. I'm here talking about golf. <laughs> uh, I don't understand what the. what the need for it is but you enjoy your night uh, 
and regardless, you're giving me a stat. So thank you for the view. And uh, thank you for the comments and everything that goes towards... Uh, and everything that goes towards my stats. But you've been... You're getting put in a time out. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh well. No. Oh. I need some refreshment here. I don't understand. I don't know if I know Dylan Murphy. But I don't understand what's given away that I'm apparently a Rangers cunt. Now, luckily enough, this is not a, fa a family friendly channel. But, I, I don't know what's giving it away. Now, I also don't know what, what it matters, if I am. Because we're talking about golf today. Um, but hey ho, as long as Dylan's enjoying his night, who cares? Uh, I'm watching Colin Morikawa tee off on the ninth here. Where's the end of that? Cameraman, come on, find the ball. We need to get more. We need to get more cameramen involved here. Is that Danny Willett there? I believe it was. You know what? Willett's had a good tournament. Leading. Alan, what do you mean? Do you mean who's leading? Leading's currently Scott Scheffler and Morikawa. If you would like me to show you, please consult my leaderboard. We've got Scheffler and Morikawa sitting at the top. Seven under and seven under. Homa and Oberg, one shot back. And then Fleetwood and DeChambeau are three shots back further back than that so just for context DeChambeau and Fleetwood are the ones that I have money on so obviously they're not making big moves I could have actually called it right, the leaders are off the tee at the ninth they are <coughs> oh Morikawa's ball is not in a good position He'll have a tree straight in front of him. He'll need to move, he'll need to to work the ball from left to right there. I mean that's his natural shape, but the problem is he may get stuck in that front bunker. Um, Oberg, come on, get down the hill, get down the hill, get down the hill, get down the hill, get in the hole, get in the hole, get in the hole. <laughs> Good on you, young man. As I said, I don't mind if. Homa and, uh, sorry, if Dijambo and Fleetwood don't win, I would love it to be Oberg. The ice in his veins, that, that young man. Absolute ice in his veins. What a putt from about 30 feet. 30 feet and about f 10 feet a break. Now we've got Homer. He's not got as much break, but he's directly downhill. Yeah, he set it out too much and he took too much break on that. He'll have a wee tester coming back up the hill. Should be okay though, it's uphill. 
Tommy Fleetwood over the just off the green at the 12th. He sends that on its way. It's got to hit the hole. Got to hit the hole. Oh, come on, Tommy. He'll have a tap in part. Tommy's playing consistent golf. Adam Scott, to finish off his round, former Masters champion, Adam Scott, who creeped into the creeped into the, the weekend after a couple of guys dropping shots on the on the second day, took the took the cut to plus six. He finished he, he had a level par day, he finished at plus four. Oma for par now. Yeah, that's it. Oma sinks that for par. We need Tommy and DeChambeau now. Need to start making birdies. Need to start putting some pressure on. And guys, what are we thinking? With a pretty active chat across Facebook, YouTube, and the viewers on X haven't come, haven't uh, haven't spoke to me, but they're watching. That's all we care about. If they're enjoying it and they're watching, I'm happy. Well, you are all here, guys, again. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel if you are watching. We'll appreciate it. Give the video a like. Hit the wee bell. You know what to do. Um, but yeah, we'd really appreciate it. I will be recording a podcast either... either tomorrow or Tuesday. Just depending. Um that will be going up live on Wednesday. Um, Wednesday will be the day for the Clubhouse podcast being released. It's the day before any tournament starts and it's enough time after a tournament finishes to get a wee bit of, a wee bit of perspective um, to not give a snap judgement. Um, so yeah, that'll be getting recorded and that'll be up. The second episode will be up live on uh, on Wednesday so if you want to listen to that um, it will be in video form on the YouTube channel and it will be uh, as podcast on podcast form on Apple Spotify you know where um, we've just cleared over 200 views for this for this stream so this is only my third stream Um We've just cleared, we're just up at 202 views now. So, again, once again, guys, thank you very much for watching me talk nonsense about golf and giving my opinions. Um, we also witnessed a wee story from Dylan about the golfing habits of the IRA. So, yeah, that's a, uh, that happened. Oh my god. Ho -ho. Scott Sheffield just nearly pitched in for an eagle there. He's got a kick in birdie to go back to eight under par and have a one shot lead. I mean he could he could walk up there and sneeze on this ball and it would go in for a birdie. That's how good that shot was. Oh, Kian Allen has also has also entered the chat. He says Celtic Championi. <clears throat> I mean, cool. <laughs> well, well done. You did well today. Rangers lost, yes, hundred percent. But it's far from done. 
is all I'm saying. Now, I'm not saying we're going to win the title. And I'm not saying that you aren't going to win it. But congratulations. Congratulations on winning the We Are Four Points Ahead with six games to go cup. As we said, Scotty Scheffler is up to eight. Who's my favourite golfer? Keen. Uh, who's my favourite? Uh, a big fan of Rory. He obviously didn't do too good this weekend. Um, I'm a big Rory fan. Jesus fucking Christ, what a drive. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, just watching Oberg's drive there down the 10th. That's an absolute rocket. That's fucking massive. Um, yeah, probably go with Rory at the moment. Favourite active golfer is probably Rory. Also a big fan of Brooks. Kepka. Um... I mean, I didn't know that Henry Larson was a golfer. If you like Swedish golfers, may I point your attention to Ludwig Oberg? As Colin Morikawa just hits the lip of the bunker. Um, why am I attracting all the all the Selig fans tonight? I mean, I'm thankful for the views, but I'm just uh, what am I doing? That's that's attracting all the all the Celtic fans tonight. I don't mind it. I grew up around Celtic fans. Half my family are Celtic fans. But Morikawa just out the bunker. I was going to actually entertain you, Keen, and I was going to ask you who your favourite golfer was. But when you give me a stupid when you give me a stupid answer, come on. Oof! You want some odds? You want some odds in play? Fucking here we go. Right. I mean, I would imagine Scheffler is going to be odds on at the moment. Uh, yes, yes. So <coughs> the odds, as opposed as noted on Skybet, we have Scott Scheffler eight to thirteen on to win. He is currently one shot ahead. He's currently one shot ahead of Ludwig Oberg and Colin Morikawa. However, Morikawa is going to be dropping back here unless he makes about 15 foot putt for par. We've also got Ludwig Oberg at 13 to 5, second favourite. Homer, 17 to 2. Morikawa, Morikawa at 12 to 1. Sky better obviously thinking he doesn't make he doesn't make this par putt. Deschambeau and Tommy Fleetwood are at 150 to 1. Cameron Smith's at 300 to 1, so he's he's pretty much out of it. DeChambeau. I mean, why would I do that though, Keen, when I'm doing a golf show? I was nice enough to give you the odds for the golf. How about you go to check the, the odds for Celtic to win the league if you want to look at that? So that was a double bogey for Colin Morikawa there. He's dropped two. So he is currently sitting at five under par. Tommy Fleetwood and DeChambeau, two, two back from him at three under. Again, they're not out of it. Scotty's got a mistake in him. But we saw that yesterday. Double bogeys from the from the world number one. The, the one at the moment now that's got a good round, a clap cracking round going at the moment is Ludwig Oberg three under par for his round today next best in that top ten is Tommy at two under Tommy just needs to pick up a few more a few more birdies and he'll be right in contention well actually he needs more than a few more birdies oh Jerry how we doing Morikawa for the win Pfft. 
if you'd joined about 10 minutes ago, I would have said they had a cha- he had a, a good chance. He's just double bogeyed the ninth. He's now back down at five under. But still in it. Definitely still in it. Anybody, I think, from DeChambeau upwards can win this at the moment. Um, as we'll see in my wee leaderboard down the bottom left here. Anyone from DeChambeau upwards can win this at the moment. DeChambeau is on the 10th, or on the 11th, sorry. He's at 3 under. Tommy's on the 13th, which is the par 5. He's at 3 under. And then we've got Morikawa at 5. Homer at 6. Oberg at 7. And Scheffler at 8. But definitely, Scheffler this weekend has shown that he is human. He has shown that he has a mistake in him. Um, and yeah, we're currently watching Homer's approach to the 10th, his second shot. Now this looks right at it. That is right at it. What a shot, Max Homer. He's got a kick in birdie, kick in birdie putt to move himself to 7 under. We're currently watching Tyrrell Hatton on the 18th for a par. And he misses it. Will he swear? Yeah, there he goes. So angry. Such an angry little man. If you'd pick one to back in play, who would you go with? <laughs> oh, fucking hell, Oberg. Need to get it a bit closer. Uh, who would I go with if I was picking somebody in play? Uh, be, I mean, based on... Based on value for money, like, I'm probably not going to go Scotty, purely because he's odds on. I would go with Oberg. It's an easy one to pick because he's sitting second and he's playing well. But him and Max are probably going to be the best options at the moment. Um, Oberg's, Oberg was 13 to 2. Oberg's thirteen to two, and uh, what was what was Homer? He was fifteen to two, wasn't he? Um, but Scheffler's just absolutely piped one down the tenth here. That's going to run forever. Ah, he's playing well at the moment, Scheffler. Hey, I don't have a link at the moment uh, to donate, but I appreciate that, Dylan. Thank you very much. Thought it counts and all that, so I appreciate that. Um, that will be something that I need to sort. Is getting that sorted, but um, but yeah, we're watching Obel here. Turn back, turn back, turn back, turn back, turn back. Tap in part. It won't drop any further back. Seven under. Homer's get the chance to join him. We've got 11, 11, it's a long, was obviously a long hole. Morikawa, he needs a bounce back here. That's a fucking lovely drive, Colin. For someone that moves the ball left to right, that is lovely. That will shoot out off the down slope. Right, Homer, he needs to, I mean, I've got a massive blister on my foot from yesterday at the golf. This is, that's fucking agony. But here we are, Homer. Ooh! <laughs> Good catch by the hole there. Caught the right-hand side and, and dropped. Decided it, it was thinking about staying out for a minute, but Homer starts the back nine with a birdie. Gets himself to seven under. And it looks like we've got a three-horse race at the moment. Nobody's out of it, out of it. We need some people to start making birdies though, we're up to, well we've got 15 folk, 15 folk watching at the moment, so we'll just re we'll just pop the question in again, unfortunately for some reason I can't pin it, which is irritating me, ha there we go, boom, there it is, there's the pinned question, 
So, either if you've been watching tonight or if you're just on the stream, we've got Scotty Scheffler sitting at 8 under, Max Homer and Ludwig Oberg sitting at 7. Colin Morikar was dropped back to 5 under, uh, unfortunately for him. Um, we just want to know, I just want to know who is going to win. Who do you think is going to win the green jacket at the end of this? We're on the back nine for everyone at the moment. Um, currently watching Bryson hit his shot into 11, his second shot. He drove the ball 330 into the middle of the fairway. 185 left in. That looks good, Bryson. Turn, 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 turn. Let's go. Let's go, Bryson. Needs to sink that. Needs to sink that putt. Then he's got a par five. At, oh, no, sorry. He's got the, the par three. Come on, Rory. Finish with a par. Yeah, well done. Even par round for Rory. He'll be disappointed, but he'll be back. Honestly, if he didn't have that, that 77 in the second day, he would have been fucking fine. See, even if he finished, le if he was level par, he would be sitting at two under the now. Sorry, he'd be sitting at one under the now. Colin Morikawa's flared that out to the right, but it's got a piece. He's caught a piece. He's hoping for Scheffler to prove, that, just to show us that he is still human. Again, guys, just while we're having a wee wait for Scotty to hit a shot, just want to say thanks for watching. Thanks for joining me for the final for the final round here. Um, I'm going to watch this home. I'm going to watch them play the the tenth. Once the leaders finish the tenth, that's when I'm going to pop off. But again, thanks very much for for joining me. We've had currently 273 views on the live stream, which is brilliant. In all honesty, I wasn't actually expecting that many. I was expecting like 10, in all honesty, so <laughs> I really appreciate that. Um, also, this will just be the podcast. I won't be releasing this as an episode, this will just be sitting on the YouTube to watch. Um, oh my god, Scotty. <laughs> um, I will just be leaving this on the YouTube to watch, it won't be getting released as a podcast episode, but the podcast episode will be, as I said, I'll be recording that Monday or Tuesday. And then, uh, which will just be a, ma a reaction to the Masters. Um, and then that'll be out on Wednesday. Wednesday will be the day when we are releasing the pod, or when I, I am releasing the podcast. I keep saying we, but it's just me that's doing it. So, uh, so yeah, Wednesday will be the podcast release day. I'll be, uh, and again, that'll be available on iTunes, Spotify, really, wherever the hell you listen to podcasts. Tommy Fleetwood for an eagle. Tommy for an eagle. Right, that's a good putt, Tommy. Tommy, on the 13th, he's got a kick in, buddy. That'll get me four under. Keeps him in it. Keeps him in it. Fucking come on, Tommy. That's moving a lot from right to left there, Ludwig. Ah, that's not horrendous. Huh, Joey Hayes is following me back in. Thank you, Joey. I mean, I actually think I followed Joey back when I was wrestling. But, I appreciate it nonetheless. And we're up over, 30, we're up over 304 views. I'm alright with that. I'm alright with that. That is, that is a job well done for me. Um... I'd, and I'll just tap myself on the back for that one. I know obviously some streams get thousands of view, like thousands of live viewers and all that, but I mean I'm happy with my three hundred and ten for the night. I'm currently in a wee ad break here.
Gavin, thank you for the like on the video as well. I can see that I've got four likes on the video on YouTube. I can't see who liked it, but I appreciate it. <laughs> can't see who liked it yet, but I, I do appreciate you liking the video, guys. Thank you very much. As I said, not long to go now. Oh, there's five. Thank you. Whoever just liked the video. Again, it doesn't, for some reason, doesn't come up and tell me who liked it. But, thank you. Tommy birdied. Come on, Tommy. He's up to four under. Tommy's making moves. Right, here we go. Final hole. Final hole for the watch along, guys. Morikawa for Buddy. On right hand side of the green. About 35, 40 feet. It's on its way. It's on its way. It's tracking well, but he's not hit it. It's not. He's just not hit it. If he hit it on that line, he would have been fantastic. But unfortunately for him, it'll be a tap in par. He's not managed to. To pull back one of the shots he dropped at the ninth. I'm lucky calling. This is by far the best that he's played all season. Best finish with that. Well, again, that was not me. That was the seat. I'm move my arm. On it. Here we go. Scott, he's got a. How far is this? I'll change the camera angle, guys. Come on, fuck. I think it's about nine, ten feet. I think it's about nine, ten feet. I'm not too sure. Yeah, in fact, maybe a wee bit longer than ten. He sunk it. Well, to end the live stream, Scotty Scheffler finishes it off with a birdie. A fantastic birdie, nonetheless. He goes to the 11th at 9 under par, two shots ahead of Homer and Oberg. He's been here before. He knows how to win the Masters. He knows how to win. He's already done it twice this year with a, and finishing second. Oh, before we go, we better go off Get Bryson DeChambeau. He's over the ball here at the 11th, par 4. And he sends it on its way. It's got to turn from left to right. And nope, he's started it far too far out. Started that far too far outside the hole. Bryson, for fuck's sake. But anyway, anyhow, guys, thank you very much for watching. Thank you for sticking around with me for two hours a lot uh, I've had a lot of views as I said we've got to 337 brilliant unbelievable um, thanks very much again guys as I said podcast will be out on Wednesday there will be a video a video podcast which will go on the YouTube channel and then everything else will be on Spotify and iTunes stay tuned to all the socials that you can see down there for my golf for all my golf content, um, I mean, I'm trying to get as good as I can and trying to go and do my PGA uh, qualifications. So, if you want, if you want to laugh and seeing me, see me attempt at that, then I'd appreciate a follow. But again, as I said, thanks very much, guys. Thanks very much for watching. Thanks very much for interacting with me, um, talking in the chat as well, and uh, have a good night. Hope you enjoy the rest of the Masters coverage.